Josh, what are some of the new technologies in 2025 that John Deere has come out for uh, spraying? Yeah, so in 2025, we're still talking a lot about scene spraying, right? We've been on this journey with our scene spray or targeted application, and I'll, I'll expand on what that means uh, for the last few years. But we've got some really exciting new software updates that we're talking about okay. this year. Uh, just to, as you said, help increase productivity, help stay in the field uh, later into the season and get even more value out of the types of passes that we can make with, with our, our sprayer. So uh, behind <coughs> here, we brought a 616R with C and Spray Ultimate. It's a two tank solution, carbon fiber boom. How many gallon tank does it uh, come with? Yeah, so it's got a 600 gallon tank one, a thousand gallon tank two for 1600 total. Okay. We also have a thousand gallon option and a 1200 gallon that, ha that have their own, their own splits. Okay. Uh, but we've got the three different options. You've got each line has its own independent agitation. It has its own lines for plumbing, and then it has a dual product exact apply nozzle body. So you can apply two products at once. Two products at once. So two, again, two, two saving fuel there, guys. Yeah. Saving fuel, productivity. You're getting two jobs done at one pass. Is this sprayer unit, does it constantly spray, or does it have this where it sees the weed and it sprays yeah. it? Yeah, so this has got sea and spray. So I don't know if you can see on the boom here, but we've got 36 cameras. They're right there's, on top there, yep, shooting kind of yep, 45 down. So as an operator, you hop into the sprayer and say, hey, I'm gonna spray corn today. Right. right. And as you're making your pass, we know what a healthy corn crop looks like right. in different growth stages because we train the model, right? So when you know what something is, you then very confidently know when something is not that thing. So whether right. you see Palmer or volunteer beans or whatever the case may be, that's when we make that spray decision. And then the supercomputer sends the signal to the, the appropriate nozzles to turn on for that, for that spray in 200 milliseconds or less. Oh, wow. So you basically tell the computer that you're spraying corn. You don't want any beans. Right. It sees the bean. Yep. It knocks it out. It sprays the bean. Yep. Nice. See, they see seaweed spray weed, right? We're up to 15 miles an hour now across the portfolio. That wow. was a, again, software update, kind of gets better over time, technology that adapts and evolves. This last year for our single tank option, we were limited at 12 miles an hour, right? A lot of guys said, hey, 12 is okay, I'd prefer to go 15. Right? right. So we were able to make some tweaks to the software, unlock that capability, and then release it as a free software update. When you talk to a lot of farmers, do you, there's a lot more farmers doing the, um, like the rear boom versus the front mount boom, like the Heggie over here, or is, is there more farmers still going with the rear mount boom? So it's hard, it, <clears throat> I can't say with any level of confidence, right? Guys love Heggie. I love Heggie. I also love John Deere. I, I do believe that, so we do have some guys that run both, right? They have different applications. Heggy can sit uh, higher above the crop later into the season. It can right. do that late season uh, fungicide or nitrogen application on that corn crop, right? Whereas a rear amount of boom may not be able to get quite that high, right?